There was a, a fascinating piece published over at the Washington Post over the weekend by Aaron Blake. It was titled, The Top 10 Democratic Presidential Candidates for 2024 Ranked. And uh, his ranking was uh, as follows. Uh, number 10, Governor Pritzker. Number, and, and, by, and by the way, my question to you, and I'll, I'll be taking your calls in a little bit here. Um, my question to you is, you know, who um, on this list do you prefer or do you think has the greatest chance of becoming the Democratic nominee and ultimately becoming president of the United States in two years? So uh, number 10, uh, Governor of Illinois, uh, J.B. Pritzker. Number nine, Josh Shapiro, the guy who was just elected governor in Pennsylvania. He gave a burn burner, a series of just extraordinary speeches. Uh, number eight, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, who just got reelected. Number seven, Bernie Sanders. Number six, Gavin Newsom, the governor of California. Number five, Amy Klobuchar, the senator from Minnesota. But I got to tell you, you know, during the primary two years ago, um, you know, I, I've said a, a couple of times on the air, I've, I've uh, in fact, I think I've apologized. Um, I, I just went after Amy in ways that were, uh, uh, frankly, over the top. I am I, increasingly impressed by Amy Klobuchar, and I think that she's going to be a serious contender this time around. We'll see. Uh, anyhow, she's number five on the Washington Post list. Number four, Jared Polis, who is the, if I'm saying that right, who is the uh, governor of Colorado and uh, just uh, reelected overwhelmingly in a purple state. Uh, number three, Kamala Harris, our, our current vice president. Number two, interestingly, Pete Buttigieg, our uh, transportation sec secretary, got, you know, Mayor Pete. Uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the highest public office Pete Buttigieg has held that was elected was mayor of a medium-sized town. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know what that means. And, of course, number one, President Biden. He notes also worth mentioning Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, Murphy Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio, Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey. By the way, uh, for those guys, and, and there's probably going to be a few other Democratic senators, one of the best ways to up, you know, if you're up for re-election in two years, or four years, one of the best ways to get your name out there is to run for president in the primary, right? Um, so anyhow, former uh, New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrew, Representative Ro Khanna, uh, listed by the Washington Post as one of the you know serious and viable candidates for president in two, in two years. He'll be on the program today in the entire third hour. North Carolina Governor Ray Cooper, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and Senator Elizabeth Warren. And frankly, I was surprised that Elizabeth Warren didn't make that top 10 list. But anyhow, that's the list. And I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on that and, and uh, you know, what, who you might be supporting or who you might think have the greatest chance of winning or both. Or, you know, if they're different things, <laughs> tell, tell me that. So we'll, we'll, 